We're about to take an exciting journey through the events leading up to Taylor Swift's latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. On a chilly day in February 2024, Swifties around the world were thrilled to find a voice note from Taylor herself, thanking them for pre-saving her upcoming 11th album on Apple Music. With the announcement of its release date set for April 19th, the anticipation was palpable. Following this, the tracklist revealed a surprise. Seven songs were labeled explicit, marking this as Swift's most candid record yet. Some of the tracks carrying this label include Down Bad, But Daddy I Love Him, and the title track, The Tortured Poets Department. Swift maintained her signature pop genre for this album, a category that has housed her beloved albums like Red, 1989, Lover, Reputation, and Midnights. The announcement of the Tortured Poets Department came during her acceptance speech for her 13th Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album for Midnights. As the night turned into day, fans began connecting the dots, linking song titles to Swift's former boyfriends, including Harry Styles and Joe Alwyn. A track called So Long London sparked speculations about its reference to British-born Joe Alwyn. Swift's relationship with Alwyn, which lasted six years, ended in a shocking split in early 2023. The album title itself, some fans believe, could be a savage nod to a group chat Joe shared with his friends, dubbed The Tortured Man Club, but the speculations didn't stop there. Fans also connected the dots to Harry Styles with one of the songs titled Lommel, potentially referencing one of Styles' songs, Love of My Life. Swift also revealed collaborations with top artists Post Malone and Florence plus The Machine, adding another layer of excitement to the upcoming album. In summary, the journey to the release of the Tortured Poets Department has been a thrilling ride, filled with voice notes, explicit track lists, and a whirlwind of fan theories. With its release date fast approaching, the anticipation continues to build, leaving Swifties eagerly waiting for the day they can finally press play on Taylor Swift's latest masterpiece. Which single will be number one? Let us know and please like and subscribe.